friends in the last video we have seen how to hash the password and how to return uh, the particular values which we want in the front end now we will create a function which will be find user by credential and that function we will map it with our login route here somewhere so let's create the function so first thing is user then uh, now instead of using methods we'll use statics yesterday because we because now we don't have any user to use that uh, we don't have any user to uh, make any uh, what do you say make any call or make any call any function or something so we have to find a user among all the users that's why we are using statics and the function name will be find user by credentials credence Creds, cred, e, and t, a. I think the spelling is correct. This will be function. And then, uh, then our class constant user equal to this. Now there is a difference in between in between this user and this user, so don't get confused. Now we will return a promise. How to return the promise? Instead of returning the promise, we'll see. How to find the user first? So user dot find find one we will do because this takes an object. Object will be email. It returns a promise. So there is a then attached to it. Inside this we have a user and we will check if not user and simply reject the promise. For that we have one of doing p r o m i s promise dot r e j c t reject we can do this and since we are doing that we have to do return we have to return this promise else what we can do we have to compare the password which we have got so pickrip dot c o m p r e compare is the function which will compare the provided password from the client and the password which is stored into the database password comma user dot pss password comma function which will be an error and a response if there is error we'll see later if response is there then we have to return something e else uh, yeah so since bcrypt dot compare or bcrypt does not returns any promise so we manually have to return the promise there is this way p r o m i s e promise it takes a function which is inside this r e s o l v resolve and reject and inside this we will do bcrypt now if it is there then resolve will be user which is this user otherwise simply reject the promise and i think we are done with the function creation now we simply have to use this function in our uh, somewhere here so how to use it we'll do user dot find by credentials and the credentials will be email and password First, we will test if this is working fine. Then we will proceed. Sorry, not here. Yeah. So I think we are. Some issues there. Error. Reference error. Email is not defined. Email is not defined. Where it is not defined. Online number. Something is there find by credentials yeah correct oh uh, yeah here so here we have not given the email and pssword that is why the issue is there now we will go and check if it is working fine and i guess this will work let's check if still the error is there application collection uh, 
yeah so since we have not returned anything from their response we have to we have to return something from here itself mm, yeah so since this is a promise we'll do then then will be the function and then we will do response dot send what we have to send we have to send user which is this user and then we will go again call the API and there you go the user is there but you can see there is no header is there means the token is not here for us to save into the local storage so instead of doing this we can do user dot this we will use user dot generate dot token this function and since we want to use this user so we will not use this chain here but we can directly we can do this this way this is also a way of doing it so this will generate the token which will get here it will set into the header here and it will send the user to the client side and I think that's what we wanted as of now there you go so we have x auth here which is our token and the details which is required so guys for now this much is enough in the next video I will show you how to create a middleware that will check for each and every protected functions protected routes means uh, so suppose you are going to create a profile so before creating the profile it will automatically check if the user is logged in or not if not logged in then you cannot access that uh, profile API so we'll create a middleware for that and then we will create a function which is find by token so by the token the user uh, this API will find if the user exists or not or if the user is logged in or not and then we will create a function which is uh, which is a delete means the logout function it will delete the token which is there in the database and in the front end so stay tuned and please subscribe like comment compliment it's like do whatever you want let me know if you are liking this video let, let me know what else I can do to make you learn more and uh, you also let me know what I should learn more so that I can make you learn more so learning goes hand in hand that's what bye bye take care